let's look at this question. Sin six senior faculty members, Abhishek, Himani, Jatin, Kashish, Punita, and Vidan, in CAT classes of six different subjects, QA, LA, GA, LR, DI, and VA of batch 20, CAT 2019, not necessarily in that order. So six subjects, six teachers, okay. Each of these senior faculties has to teach for six hours in a week from Tuesday to Sunday. Monday being the weekly off day. No faculty for teach can more than three hours on a single day. So three hours is like the upper limit for a single day. On each day, a distinct number of total hours are taught in that batch. And on any day, the number of total hours taught in that batch is less than 10. The number of hours taught by any faculty on any day is an integer. Okay. So, lots of information has been given here. Pay attention. First thing, there are six teachers and every teacher uh, what are you Yeah. Every teacher has to teach for six hours in a week. So, six into six, 36 hours have to be taught. 36 hours have to be taught. Now, if 36 hours have to be taught, pay attention, across 6 days. 36 hours have to be taught across 6 days. And we are also told, on each day, a distinct number of total hours are taught in that batch. And on any day, the number of total hours taught in that batch is less than 10. Which means the maximum number of hours that can be taught in a day is 9 only. So, I am going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Currently, currently, this adds up to, this adds up to 9 into 10, 45 hours. Currently, if all these 9 possibilities are entertained, number of hours taught in a day, 45 hours of teaching, but we only need 36 hours of teaching. So, Remember, out of these nine, we have to remove three numbers. We have to remove three numbers and reach the total of 36. We have to remove three numbers and reach the total of 36. How can that be done? How can that be done? The possibilities that I can remove are, I can remove one, two, six. I can remove one, three, five, I can, and this is it, 1, 2, 6, and 1, 3, 5. I can also remove 2, 3, 4. Apart from these, nothing else can be removed. Apart from these, nothing else can be removed. You can remove 1, 2, 6. You can remove 1, 3, 5. You can remove 2, 3, 4. These are the only possibilities that exist with regards to uh, how many hours are being taught in a day. How many hours in a day the batch has to be studied. Okay. Uh, number of hours taught by any faculty on any day is an integer. Okay. Less than 10. This first paragraph is giving me just this much information. Out of these nine numbers, three have to be excluded. And the possibilities of the three numbers being excluded is 1, 2, 6 or 1, 3, 5 or 2, 3, 4. Now, information-wise, what all can we capture? There are six teachers. Abhishek. Imani, Jatin, Kashish, Punita, and Vedant. Okay. I will draw lines and represent it to the best of my ability straight away. This is Tuesday, this is Wednesday, this is Thursday, this is fourth. Need one extra column. This is Tuesday, this is Wednesday, this is Thursday, this is Friday, 
this is saturday and this is sunday okay yes qa was taken by abhishek and he did not teach on saturday and sunday he did not teach on saturday and sunday and qa he teaches completely recorded on tuesday only three sessions of an r each were taken by abhishek punita and vidant abhishek vinita punita and vidant and all of them have taught for one hour each year so himani has not taught jatin has not taught tashish has not taught and on tuesday you have got 3 hours as soon as you see 3 hours as soon as you see 3 hours can you see this case is no longer possible because 1 3 5 cannot be excluded 2 3 4 cannot be excluded so now we can be certain the number of hours taught across the 6 days have to be 3 4 5 7 8 9 Number of hours taught across the six days have to be three, four, five, and seven, eight, nine. Okay. So this is also captured. Punita taught on all six days of the week. If Punita has taught on all six days of the week, and a teacher has to teach only six hours in a week, so the only way this can be accomplished is if she taught one, 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 and one. Her six hours are taken care of. Punita is done. the ga faculty did not teach on saturday okay as of now we don't know who is the ga faculty but i can be certain punita is not ga faculty because she is teaching on saturday she is teaching on saturday so like, beyond that we know nothing so four does not be ticked off himani who didn't teach di okay himani does not teach di taught on three days for equal number of hours on each day and did not teach on sunday she did not teach on sunday and she taught two 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 she taught on three days as two 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 which three days between wednesday thursday friday and saturday we don't know we'll worry about it we also know himani is not the ti teacher maximum number of faculty taught on thursday and maximum number of hours were taught on sunday now see maximum number of faculty taught on thursday so max faculty and maximum number of hours were taught on sunday right now we know maximum number of hours taught in a day will be 9 will be 9 that is already known so sunday has 9 hours this is taken care of you can choose to strike off 6 or you can choose to not strike off 6 not a problem but we know maximum number of faculty members will be teaching on thursday okay next Jatin taught on only two days, Saturday and Sunday. So he is teaching only on two days, Saturday and Sunday. Given that he is only teaching on two days, and a teacher could not teach for more than three hours in a single day, and Jatin has to complete six hours in total. The only way it works is he teaches three hours here, he teaches three hours here. Additionally, we were told the GA faculty did not teach on Saturday. so i can rule out jatin as the ga faculty also jatin taught only on two days saturday and sunday this point we have entirely made use of we know okay wonderful thing can you also see because we need 9 hours on sunday 3 hours we have got from jatin and 1 hour from punita we need 5 hours we we need 5 hours both kashish and vedant have to pitch both kashish and vedant have to pitch only then only then can i reach a total of 9 so kashish is definitely teaching here vedant is definitely teaching here that is beyond question this has to happen moreover moreover can you see because four teachers are teaching on sunday four teachers are teaching on sunday but thursday was the day on which maximum number of faculty members taught can i also make the claim there have to be five faculty members who teach on thursday gain jatin is not teaching we know the five faculty members that are teaching on thursday okay and what this does is this also ensures that maximum number of faculty taught on thursday is already taken care of here this is already taken care of okay next is number of hours taught by kashish was distinct on each day and each day she taught in that batch which means kashish will be teaching i 1 2 and 3 
on different days you will be teaching one hour two hour and three hours okay this is also done we don't know which days but one two three that is it the number of hours taught on wednesday is more than that on friday number of hours on wednesday is more than that on friday and the average number of hours taught on thursday saturday and sunday is eight see these three numbers these three numbers average out to eight the only way they average out to eight is the top three numbers are taken the top three numbers are taken if the top three numbers are taken this is either seven or eight this is eight or seven and then we are told Three is already allocated. Nine is already allocated. Wednesday and Friday, we were told the number of hours taught on Wednesday is more than that on Friday. So on Wednesday, five hours will be taught. And on Friday, four hours will be taught. The number of hours for which uh, classes take place on separate days, that is also uniquely identified. Between Thursday and Saturday, where you have eight hours, where you have seven hours, we figure it out later. LA faculty taught only on Thursday. LA faculty taught only on Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Now see, <clears throat> can Abhishek be the LA faculty? No, because he's not teaching on Saturday, Sunday. Can Himani be the LA faculty? No, because he's not teaching on Sunday. Can Jatin be the LA faculty? No, he's not teaching on Thursday. Can Kashish be the LA faculty? He's teaching on Thursday. She is he's teaching on Sunday. He can potentially teach on Saturday. Is can Punita be the LA faculty? No, because she is teaching on all six days. And uh, Vedant, can he be the LA faculty? No, because he's also teaching on Tuesday. Given that we are told LA faculty taught only on Thursday, the only person possible, the only person possible who could have taught only on Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday has to be, has to be uh Kashish, Thursday, Saturday. And Sunday, this is gone. This is gone. And Kashish is the LA teacher. This is also done. And the difference between the number of hours taught on him on Thursday and Sunday was two. So the number of hours taught on Thursday and the number of hours taught on Sunday has to be two. Remember, on Sunday, you need nine total. So if you have one here, three, one, one, there is no way you can reach, you, there is no way you can reach nine in this uh, row. So you can't have one here. So the only way to works is if you have three here and you have one here, which also translates into you have two here, which also translates into you have two here because the submission three, three, one, two, nine already taken care of. One, two, three, six already taken care of. Let's see more. Let's see more. LA faculty taught only on Thursday. LA faculty taught only on Thursday. I see this cannot be DI teacher. This potentially can be DI teacher. This potentially can have lots of things. Anyway, so LA faculty in bullet point, point number 10 is entirely taken care of. LA faculty taught only on Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes, true. And the difference between the number of hours taught by him on Thursday and Sunday was taken care of entirely. Next, Vedant taught on all days except Saturday. Vedant did not teach on Saturday, but he taught on all other days. Given that he is already teaching two hours on Sunday, on every other day, because he's, he will teach a total of six hours only, it will be one hour, one hour, one hour. This is taken care of. Oh, I could have anyway arrived at that decision by Abhi is one here, Punita is one here, so Vedant will also necessarily, oh, Vedant will also be one. This was already given to us. Any, no, no. So, Vedant taught on all days except Saturday. Abhishek taught for two hours on Friday. Abhishek taught for two hours on Friday. So, on Friday, he is teaching for two hours. Okay. So, now see, for Friday, we knew four hours were to be taught on Friday. We have identified two hours of Abhishek, one hour of Punita and one hour of Vedan. So Himani will not be teaching here. If Himani is not teaching here, the three days on which Himani is teaching will be these. Two, two and two. This is uniquely identified. If this is uniquely identified, look at Himani's. Look at Hima, uh, this row, Saturday row. Two, three, two, one. 
can i say 2 3 2 1 8 hours are being taught on saturday and on thursday 2 1 1 7 hours are being taught on thursday 2 1 1 1 5 is already done so 2 hours will be taught by abhishek on thursday which would also mean on wednesday he will teach one hour and we pretty much have on every day which teacher will teach what the only thing left for us to ascertain is who belongs to what category of teach, what categorization of teachers okay the ga faculty did not teach on saturday abhishek cannot be ga himani cannot be ga jatin cannot be ga kashish cannot be ga puneet cannot be ga the only person who can be the ga teacher is vedant this is done okay himani who didn't teach ti this is also taken care of 2 to 2. Everything is known. Vedan taught on all days except Saturday. Abhishek taught for 2 hours on Friday. We have everything. LR was taught on a minimum number of days. Which subject was taught on a minimum number of days? QA is not here. DI was taught on 3 days. Jatin is teaching on 2 days. Ashish is teaching on 3 days. Punita is teaching on 6 days. Vedan is teaching on 5 days. So the teacher who teaches for minimum number of days is Jatin. So he has to be the LR teacher. He has to be the LR teacher. Additionally, we know Himani was not the DI teacher. So Punita will be the DI teacher. And the only subject left is VA. So Himani will be the VA teacher. Now we uniquely have everybody's subject area also. Let's get to individual questions. Okay. LR was taught on minimum number of days and GA was taught on five days except Saturday. We did not really need this part. We did not really need this part. But okay. First, for how many hours did Kashish teach on Sunday? Kashish taught for three hours on Sunday. What is the absolute difference between the total number of hours taught on Saturday and Wednesday? Saturday is eight, Wednesday is five. So difference between them is three hours. Okay. Which subject did Punita teach? Punita taught DI. So, option A. And asked, what is the sum of the number of hours taught on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday? Wednesday is 5, Thursday is 7 and Friday is 4. So, 16 hours in total. So, option D. And that will be the entirety of this question. It becomes more manageable as soon as you are able to figure out 1, 2, 6 are the 3 numbers that have to be excluded in order to reach the sum of 36. You can still do it even if you don't do this work in the beginning. But as soon as you have this available with you, the subsequent work becomes far more easier to accomplish. That will be all for this set.